Okay, so since your brother is nice and he's related to you, he's a member of your family, he's one person that's influenced you. Okay, really good sentence, Becca. And why don't you go ahead and share this with you, put please, Charlie? One of those people who has influenced me is my Sweet. So your mom and your brother help you teach you how to do chores and to do stuff right, and they are members of your family or your relatives. Okay, really good sentence, Charlie. Okay, we just got a couple more words to make it through. Everybody, find the next word with me. Find that next word. The word is shame. What's that word, everybody? Shame. Thanks for saying it with me. Let's just say it one more time. Word shame. What's that word? Shame. Good. Thanks for saying it out loud. Right now, I want you to turn to the person next to you and say that word to them. Shame. Shame. Good. Now I want to hear you whisper it. What's that word? Shame. Shame. Good. Now here, I want you to sound it out with me. Ready? Go. Shame. shame. Just one syllable, actually, on that one. Okay. So, um. I feel shame after I go to an all-you-can-eat buffet, and then I eat dessert after I finish my meal. You know, my belly, you know, I feel a little shame after that. Okay. Or I might feel a little shame, okay, if I get embarrassed in front of my peers, okay? So in this case, shame would be a feeling of guilt or embarrassment. Okay, so a feeling of guilt or embarrassment is called what, everybody? Shame. Shame, good. So shame would be a feeling of guilt or what? Embarrassment. Embarrassment. Thanks for following along there, Dylan. Okay, so embarrassment, okay, that would be a feeling of shame. So everybody get this written down. Okay, so, oh, my bad, I spelled that wrong. Oh, wait. Okay, well. Where is it? Everybody, yeah. Drop the end. Yeah. So feeling of guilt or oh, bear. Bear is meant, not bear is. Yeah, so a feeling of guilt or embarrassment. Be feeling shame. Yeah. So it's like. Think of like you've done anything, and then your parents have been like disappointed in you, like they've been shame, and you're like. I'm not like I'm not upset. I'm more, I'm more disappointed, and that's like shame. And you're like, oh man, it's not good. Okay, thanks for getting that in now. Appreciate you following along. Okay, doing great. Thanks for getting that written down. Okay, so let's find the example sentence. The example sentence says, "Do not bring shame to your friends by doing what? What's something you could do that your friends would feel shameful about?" Oh they would be embarrassed about. So think of something you would do that your friends would feel shame about. Okay, so like maybe you're in the hallway together. What's something you would do that your friends would be like, oh, I don't know about that. Or maybe you're in the lunchroom or maybe you're out in public, you're at the mall, you're doing something, you're walking down the street. What's something you do that your friends would feel shameful about? Okay. So think about this, the criminal, oh, you got an example? Yep. What is it? Taking something to your haunted house and then telling them to get scared or then So telling them to get scared at a haunted house, then they feel shame, or taking them with that, with telling them they're not gonna get scared yeah. and then they get scared, then you might feel shame. Okay, because yeah, some people can get really scared at a haunted house, that's a great example. Alicia? Brain, you got an example? Eggs at cars. Throwing what at cars? Eggs. Oh, eggs. eggs. Oh, no. Yeah, that would bring some shame, especially if you threw an egg at a car. Okay, you're walking with your friends. You pull out an egg, you throw it at a car. The car, eh, scrapes it on their brakes. They come back, they start cursing you out or trying to do something worse than that. Okay, so do not bring shame to your friends by, say, throwing eggs at cars, um, talking bad to people. Um, maybe making fun of them in front of other people. Okay, has, has any of your friends ever gotten upset because you're joking around making fun of them and you said something that maybe they didn't like, even though you're just joking, just because it's in front of other people? Okay, so do not bring shame to your friends by, I was gonna say making fun of them. Yes. In 
front of others. Think about it. We all, we all, if you have good friends, you probably joke around with them. You're probably not just straight serious all the time and just you say a joke and then they're like, no, I, I take it very serious. Some people are like that, but I feel like you're really close to somebody. You can joke around with them to some extent without them getting too upset. Okay, so if you have your own example, you can go ahead and write that. If not, just copy the one up off the board and then come around and check to make sure you have the whole thing written with a period. Most of you copied what I wrote up on the board. We're just going to move on to the next word once the last people write down. So I'll just give you five more seconds to finish up your sentence there. And we'll move on to the next word. Okay, let's take a look at the next word. The word, last one, the word is voiceless. What's that word, everybody? Voiceless. Okay, yeah, you're not voiceless. I can hear you nice and loud. That word's voiceless. What's that word, everybody? Voiceless. Good. Thanks for being loud, but I need you to be louder. What's that word, everybody? Voiceless. Okay, now I want to hear you say it as a voiceless person whispering. What's that word? Good. Now I want you to turn to the person next to you and say that word to him. Voiceless, thank you. Now just say it out with me. Ready, go. Voiceless. Voiceless. Yeah, we got two syllables there. Okay. So, um, if I am the youngest person in my family, okay, and we're trying, my, we're trying to figure out where to go to dinner, I might be voiceless in my, where my suggestion. Okay. Or even better yet. If my family wants to go on vacation and I'm the youngest person, okay, I'm most likely going to be voiceless about where we're going to go, right? So in this case, voiceless is going to be people who are unable to get their voices heard. Okay, so if you're unable to get your voices heard, you would be called what, everybody? Voiceless. Voiceless. Thank you, Michaela, Dylan, and Charlie for saying that with me. I need to hear everybody, though, when I ask you. Okay, so people who are unable to get their voices highly heard. Okay, so if you're unable to get your voice heard, you would be considered voiceless. So it's like, again, your parent says, this is how it is, and you're trying to argue with them, and they're not going to change their opinion or their mind about whatever. You would be considered voiceless. Okay. If they don't want to hear it. It's like when you when you go to the principal's office and you're trying to talk your way out of getting in trouble and they have proof you did something wrong. Okay, you're gonna be considered pretty voiceless. Okay. We're gonna get that written down. Alright, let's take a look at the example sentence. The example sentence says the country's leader spoke up for the voiceless by doing what? Okay, how would the leader of the country speak up? Did you take it? No. 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 Okay, I'm going to help. Did you take it? Did you take it? No. No. I need help. Alright, so how would they speak up for the voice? What are they going to do? Speak in a microphone. Well, oh, well, okay, you can speak into a microphone, but it's not necessarily referring to people who can't hear. It's referring to the people who can't get their voices heard. So people like, people who are really poor, for example, or people who have no power, okay? How is the country's leader gonna speak up for them? By doing what? What's something people in power, or leaders could do to help people who are need stuff? What's something they could do? What's something they can provide to people? What's well, something countries can provide to people who need stuff? What do you guys need to survive? Food. Okay, so food, that's good. No, what else? Water. water, what else? 
When you get because sick, I you have to... vegetables. Medicine. Medicine, yeah, good. Yeah, like, what about like hospitals? Is that Place to sleep. Place to sleep, good. Okay, so, country's leader spoke up for the voiceless by, and then you could say, like, providing. Okay, and let's think of, say, providing, and I want you to come up with your own example here. Okay, so they provide what? So the leaders provide, maybe it's medicine, maybe it's food, maybe it's shelter, okay, maybe it's water, okay? Um, you know, there's a lot of people that are, don't, don't live close to cities and governments that still have to obey laws and things, so they like help with, you fill in the blank, okay? So I'll come around, I want to make sure everyone comes up with their own example on this one. Once you get, get it and you get a period, I'm come around and check it off. Okay, but I want everyone to come with their own original example. Okay? And then we're going to share it with our part, our person next to us. I said shampoo. Ooh, I like that. Twenty more seconds to finish up your sentence here, and then we are going to share it with the person next to us. Providing what? By providing. Okay, have the speaker, the country's leader, speak up for the voiceless. So voiceless are people who can't like have their opinions heard. Okay, so if I'm like in need of something, so the country's leader can provide what? By providing. seconds, wrap up your sentence, and I'm going to share it with the person next to us. I'm going to finish my example, say the country's leader spoke up for the voiceless by providing shelter for the homeless. Okay, here's what I'm going to have you do. I'm going to have you share your sentence with the person next to you. Okay, so Dylan, I'm going to have you read your sentence with Jasmine. Jasmine, you're going to read your sentence with Dylan. Okay. Alicia, I'm going to have you read your sentence to Jack. Nikaylee, I'll have you read your sentence to Beckham. Okay, Braden, I have you read your sentence out loud to Jen. Okay, the person I want reading first is Alicia, Nikaylee, and Dylan. Okay, listen up. This should take no more than 10 seconds, about five seconds for each of you to read. Just make sure that if you're the partner who's not reading, you're listening. And then once they're done, you read your sentence out loud to them. Okay, so yeah, Bill just wants to wait for Mr. Drew to be done talking and then you can go. Okay, so first person read, ready. Braden, you're going to read yours to. Jen. <laughs> oh, okay, ready, go. You're going to read your Jack. Okay. The country's leader spoke up for the voiceless by providing at the hospital. Okay. Uh, my product is. Yeah, so if you're providing food, water, the 
because they soup. Yeah. 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 Water and soup. Yeah. Um, if I'm buying them from places, it means they don't have enough food. They yeah. provide that. You have to read the whole really sentence. Is that cool? Um, my idea of yeah. cultural leaders yeah. spoke up for the voices. Yeah. Like if I um, <laughs> think back to yeah. the wedding and be known, yeah, that there needs to be more hospitals yeah. outside of yeah. the cities. There you go. Yeah, 